Here it is, the world's finest imaging detector, the Garrett GTI 2500 with Treasure Vision. And it's so simple to operate. Press one touchpad and you're ready to hunt. Just a glance at the display screen reports your exact operating status. Here, we're in a discriminate coins search mode with bell tone audio. You can hear the threshold that's already been set at the factory. At the top of the screen are the familiar GTA scales, indicating the detector's precise discrimination pattern. It's now set to hunt for coins, but you can change it easily. Below is the imaging grid that will indicate the size of your targets. We'll talk a lot more about this later. But now, I know that you want to go out and hunt. Pressing that one touchpad was all you needed to do. So, let's go find some coins. Mr. Garrett recommends that we swing the search coil back and forth in a straight line or a slight arc as we walk forward. Notice that the coil is held an inch or two above the ground. Since we're operating in a discrimination mode, we have to keep the detector moving slightly for detection to occur. Any acceptable metal target that we find will cause an increase in sound. All targets, good and bad, are always indicated on your display. There's our first discovery. The cursor on the top scale indicates what we found. This target will hold for two seconds or until something new is found. You can see by the target ID guide above the top scale that we may have located a quarter, especially if Treasure Imaging determines it to be a B-sized target. Press Treasure Imaging and let's see. Yep. See the oval extending to the B lines? You'll learn that all U.S. coins and most rings will be indicated by this B-size. Okay, let's dig it up. Just like the cursor told us, a quarter on the ID guide, and it's a silver one, too. Look again at the target ID guide, and you'll see how it helps relate the location of the cursor with the imaging grid to assist in identifying your target. Because the discrimination of your GTI in its coins mode has been preset at the factory to hunt for coins and similar targets, this instrument will not respond to most junk items. When you get an acceptable target, you'll hear clear, strong signals like that made by our quarter. Now that sounds like another coin. The upper scale indicates that it may be another quarter. Let's use the treasure imaging mode to check for size and depth. Place your search coil on the ground directly above the target. Press and hold the treasure imaging touchpad and scan back and forth. You'll notice a more distinct audio sound when the target is directly beneath the search coil center. You'll notice, too, that you can hold your search coil absolutely still when using the treasure imaging mode. You'll discover that centering your target is especially important in determining its size. We press and hold the treasure imaging touchpad while continuing to move the coil around. Watch the upper scale segments illuminate from left to right to indicate signal strength. The maximum reading attained toward the right will occur when the target is beneath the center of your search coil. The blinking cursor on the top scale indicates the conductivity of what we've found. By looking at the treasure imaging grid, we can confirm the target size. See? The oval extends to the B lines. That means it's probably a coin or a small ring. And the 4-inch depth is also confirmed. Let's dig down 4 inches and find out just what it is. Sure enough, it's another quarter. You don't really need any more than this knowledge to find treasure for the rest of your life with a GTI. Yet, it's such an amazing instrument that I know you'll want to take advantage of all its capabilities. So, let's learn all about them. <laughs>